Is that good? I have not filmed something like this in so long. This feels so weird. Hi, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hey. I'm Alicia. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. I do a lot of different things on this channel. I just have too many hobbies and I kind of document it all here on this video. So, welcome. This video is specifically a 1K celebration. We hit. <laughs> By the time I'm filming this, I currently have 1900 subscribers and the reason I'm filming it so late is because my school semester was a little bit crazy. I really wanted to film something but I like really didn't have the time so that's why we're doing it now. But I do have a reaction of when I hit a thousand subscribers. I'll put that up here. It's literally two o'clock in the morning and I just hit a thousand subscribers. I gotta whisper because my parents are sleeping but like this feels so unreal. I'm also working on homework right now, so I feel like very out of it because I've been working on it like nonstop all day. I haven't posted in like a month. Where are y'all coming from? I like want to feel like scream and freak out and be like, oh my gosh, but my parents are sleeping. It's two o'clock in the morning. I went out this school year with the intention of like, I'm going to post every week. I got this. I'm going to manage my time. I'm going to be so organized. I was humbled very, very quickly. By the time September was done, it was like, oh. I wanted to take it back to like old YouTube kind of times where people used to do like, oh my gosh, we hit a thousand subscribers and they'd like bake a cake. I was gonna bake a cake. And then this TikTok showed up on my For You page and it was a man making beaver tails. If you don't know, beaver tails is like a Canadian, is it Canadian? I think it's only available in Canada. It's this pastry. I'll just put a picture up here. I've never been able to eat one because growing up, I was allergic to the toppings that they put on top of it. Recently, those allergies have gone well some of them have and i went to canada's wonderland with my cousins over the summer and everyone got beaver tails at the end and i really really wanted one so i was like oh can i get one i'm allergic to this topic but i'm not allergic to this one is there any way and they were like absolutely not so for the 1k special making a beaver tail this is like it's kind of a good idea kind of not a good idea it's a good idea in the sense of like i'll be able to try beaver tail but it's not a good idea in the sense of i don't know what a beaver tail tastes like so i could mess up the recipe and it could be like inaccurate but only time will tell so i wrote ingredients on the list. I'm not gonna look back at the tutorial because I don't think I need it. Fun fact, if it wasn't film I was going into, I was actually considering getting into baking and pastry art. So I have a little bit of confidence in my baking abilities, but I've never like tried something. So this is gonna be interesting. It says I need lukewarm water and I have this really hot water here that I was kind of hoping if I let it sit out for a bit it would get like lukewarm. Put an ice cube in it. Oh, I'll also be linking the TikTok that I'm using down below if anybody wants to follow the recipe or use it or make it. Yeah. I finished my last exam yesterday. Technically, I'm not done because I have one more group assignment that's still being worked on. That should be done in two days. So, like, technically, I'm almost done. But, like, exams, I'm done. <laughs> Let me just explain this semester. This semester has been so... So this semester has had a lot of very high highs and very low lows in the span of like 24 hours. It was very high intensive emotion all the time, every day. I don't know. So it's just been a very odd semester for myself. I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. And uh, what can I say? What can I say? Two eggs. I feel like I'm in the bear. Yes, chef! I've yet to watch that film. I have so many TV shows and movies that I want to watch, and I just wasn't able to, like, all semester. So I guess I could just talk a little bit about what I, not expect, but, like, what's to come. I guess what everyone can expect. I am hoping to post every Tuesday. Tuesday is my upload date. Hold on, let me, let me measure. I don't know why I can't, like, talk and bake. That's, like, impossible. Kind of want to... Do like a different angle or something. I also turned 20. No longer a teenager, which is a little... Why is this not... I'm an adult now. But on the bright side, I'm so happy to be done with school. I'm so happy it's the holiday season. I am very much so a girl that loves the aesthetics of the holidays. I love a cup of hot chocolate, some whipped cream by a fireplace with some jazz, like a blanket. Really nothing more like it. Yeah. I'm currently reading a book. It's nice because I can actually like sit down and finish it. Like read it before I go to bed without feeling guilty for like wasting my time. So I'm excited to read. I like to crochet again. Actually, my friend got me a yarn bowl. I'm so excited to start using that. Now I just need to add more sugar, five cups of flour, and salt. But it says a pinch of salt. I've never been good with measuring salt when it says pinch. Ooh. 
I do want to start. As for New Year's resolution, I think my biggest goal is just to start posting more, as well as I'm hoping for next year, September, I can start doing makeup again. And I know everyone's probably thinking like September, like that's the end, that's like near the end of the year. I already know this semester, the next winter term is gonna be very hectic again, because I'm taking, again, more courses. I'm probably not gonna be able to do makeup then. And then I just wanna kind of gather makeup looks throughout the year so that when September rolls around, I can actually consistently post for at least like even if it's just a week um why am i feeling like this is an inaccurate measurement this is not a dough i'll be back i've been trying to figure this out for like <laughs> past 20 minutes and it's just really wet and sticky i'm not really sure what to do i think i'm just gonna leave it let it raise and then i'll just add more flour when i like roll it out this is what it's looking like and we're back and the sun has decided to move I think I'm gonna have to like film here. Ugh. So it's been an hour and it's been like this. I'm kind of scared to like. Oh, I'm not feeling as sticky. I think I'm just gonna add a wee bit more flour. It says to take a little ball of it, so I'll just do that here. We're gonna fry one, just one. We're just gonna see how this one turns out. If it's not good, then. <laughs> I should have done the cake. But would the cake have even been good? Like, now I'm doubting my ability. So, he said to wait till the oil's heated up to 200 degrees. I don't have something to check the temperature. I really don't know what to do. It's okay, though, at the end of the day. Because this is just an opportunity for growth. It is an opportunity to learn from my mistakes if I ever decide to make beaver tails again. Should I just throw it in? It's bubbling. It's doing a cute little bubble. Right? Wow. Look at her go. I'm so excited. Is this exciting? Wow. Right? Another one. Did I do it? Okay, now what do I do? Why am I nervous? Again, I don't know what a beaver tail tastes like, so I can't like compare it, but this thing is so bland. Why am I still eating it? Oh wait, the guy dipped it in like sugar and cinnamon. It's actually not terrible. It's in cinnamon sugar. Beaver tails, are, like the actual base of it, is supposed to taste this bland, but the toppings are what's really pulling it together right here. I'm gonna show you really nice. But without it, like, is it supposed to taste? Is this supposed to taste like this? I don't know. What would I rate this? Probably like a four out of 10, to be honest. Like, does this even taste good or am I just eating sugar? At the end of the day, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. This is something I've dreamed about like literally ever since I realized YouTube was a thing. So for me to hit this like milestone, like a thousand people, like let's just think about that. Imagine a thousand people in a room. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much for listening to my rambles and following my journey. <laughs> thank you for being here and thank you for being you. I don't know if that's cheesy, but it feels right. I apologize that this video was a little bit of a bust, but I mean, hey, we all learned something together. What that is, I don't know, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure we can find and, uh, something through this but again thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you want like if you want and comment down below if you want i'm always looking at the comments also if you want to follow any of my other social medias they are linked down below thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week with a crochet video